if you want to treat trading as your business, you have to have a business plan. You have to have a trade plan. So when you're executing a trade, hindi ka pwedeng execute lang dahil feel mo na gusto mo mag-execute or out of the spur of the moment. Magne-negosyo ba kayo out of emotion? Hindi, di ba? Dapat black and white yan. Merong numbers, merong research, merong feasibility study. So when you have a trade plan, you have a trade objective, this is the setup. Sa setup na yun, dapat alam mo yung mga key components or the parameters. Meron ka dapat checklist. Yung checklist na yun, kumbaga, parang pupunta ka sa meeting room, you're gonna negotiate. Hindi ka alis sa meeting room kung hindi mo na-check yung mga nasa checklist mo. Tama? Parang meron kang target na mabenta. Ito lang dapat yung po, ito lang dapat gagastusin mo. Ito yung profit objective mo. Dapat may ganun ka. So dito, yun yung checklist mo sa isang setup. Or another term is, what you can do is, ano ang recipe sa adobo? Check, 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 check. Mawala ang isa, hindi masarap. So, the more, the more checks on your checklist, the higher the chance of it succeeding. Number three, the most important, gagawa ka ba ng business plan kung wala kang profit target? Meron bang negosyo or feasibility na walang profit objective? Wala, di ba? Lahat may profit objective. So, in your trade plan or in your business plan, dapat meron kang trade objective. You have to have a target. At the same time, you also have to have your stops. Kumbaga, when, know when to walk away. Tama? So, with these two components, makukuha mo yung risk-reward ratio or your risk management. 100% yung target profit niya in his product. Tapos kung malugi man siya, at a 20% risk. So, ang risk-reward mo, 5 is to 1. Mas malaki dapat ang reward mo versus your risk. That is computed based on your target price and your stops. Clear? <coughs> so, let's do an example. So, MEH was your major mover this week. Okay? So, on... Friday, gap down from the ceiling. So, medyo maraming natamaan dito. Pero meron pa rin siyang setup. Because, the setup was, meron kang Darbus box dito. So, kapag may nakita ka ganyan Darbus box, ano ang pwede mong, ano ang, pwede, ano ang trade objective mo? Buy on breakout, tama? So, this is a breakout candle. The following day, this is a Tuesday candle. Okay. Hindi natin siya kita. Breakout siya, di ba? So, ang tanong, or usually, ang ginagawa ko, dapat meron na akong target price objective. Okay? So, dito, dito sa Darbus box na to, pwede tayong gumawa ng Darbus box components. Tama? So, we can also project your target price. Tama? So, in this case, Uy! nag na sa target price. BBTP. Pero let's check. Isa pa lang yan, di ba? For a, for a reason to have a resistance identification. Tama? Pero meron na. Okay? From the breakout at this level, tumama na siya dun sa DBTP 100. So, let's plot the horizontal line on your body and on your week. This is 2.97. This is your week resistance dotted. So, let's look for key level resistances. Okay? Oh, dito meron, no? Meron palang resistance dito. So, urong natin pa baba. 2.70. Okay? 
This is January 2019. Today is almost March. So this that is a 14 month high breakout. That is that is a 52 week high breakout. So pasok siya doon sa setup mo body breakout. It close at 2.75. Tapos your one year high resistance is at 2.70. So 14 month high. Ano yung value? 2.70 Using what we have learned What is your stop level? It closed at EOD it closed at 2.75 So Breakout siya di ba? From a 1 year high So it is a buy decision Buy decision At 2.75 Clear? So, using yung risk-reward component of your business plan, what is your stop? 2.69, di ba? It should be below your 14-month high breakout point. So, your stop is 2.69. So, ilang percent yung risk mo from your EOD? 3% risk. Good? Pasok sa bar? Your target price number one can be your DBTP100 of this box. Pwede? There's a confluence dito sa wick. So, pwede mag-resist talaga dyan. So, your TP1, 2.97. 8% reward. Okay? So, that is your TP1. Pwede naman talaga mag-resist siya at this level, di ba? So, check natin. Ano pa ang pwede natin gamitin para magkaroon ng resistance? Ano next? There is a previous key level resistance. So, let's, check, let's take a look. Ah. 2.7. So, ito yung 2.97. Okay. So, tingnan natin on the le this left hand side. Uy! Meron pa lang darkest box at this level. Plotted body to body. So, itong 2.54, we can ignore this because it already closed above it. Okay? So, you have your previous DB, DB50 at this level and your box stop. Okay? So, pwede natin gawin your TP2 nasa 3.20. TP3 3.87 This is 17% This is 42% So let's review Ano nangyari? Ayan no Guys nag siya dito Nagkaroon ng overshoot to sa 3.20 there's a reason bakit nagkaroon ng bull trap dito. Your previous DB 50 on the previous box resisted. So, let's incorporate this in your business plan. So, with the, we discuss your risk reward ratio. So, meron kang RR1, RRR2. R, 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 3. So, your RR1, 8% over 3. What's your risk reward? That is almost 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1 reward. Based on TP2, that is almost 6 is to 1. Based on your TP3, that is almost 14 is to 1. Okay. So, ito, okay na to. Pero nangyari, nagkaroon ng overshoot dito. Now, a good question to ask right now is, paano kapag TP1 lang ako, pwede na ako magbenta? Pwede na ba ako magbenta? Yes! Pwede ka magbenta. Walang problema. Depende yan sa trade plan mo and your tolerance. When you're setting TP, Pwede mo kasing gawin, you sell on your target price kagad. Nakaposte ka na. 
Pero ako personally, ginagawa ko, I wait for the reaction. Kasi, nag ano yun eh. Binasag niya kagad to eh. So parang, kung ako, kung ako nasa, kung meron ako dito, bumili ako dito, titignan ko anong reaction. Eh, minani lang yung 2.97 eh. Masabi ko, hindi ko gagawin yung take profit. I will just observe and set my TP1 as my trail stop or my profit stop. Okay, kapag bumalik siya doon sa TP1, benta na ako. So, ang mangyayari, from TP1, inabot na niya si TP1, ang mangyayari is, magkakaroon ako ng next decision tree na titingnan ko si TP2. What will be the reaction na TP2? Eh, nakita ko na untog. Pwede na ako magbenta. Tama? So, mga nganak yung decisions mo. This concept comes from the, the, the decision tree concept. Magkakaroon ka lang ng... Mga, magkakaroon lang ng sanga-sanga yan. Pero basically, it would depend on the reaction on that target price.